That is uh, windy. Okay, now I guess that I, I am in the computer. Okay, now I was on mute. So now I'm here in the computer one more time. I'm sorry. Okay, let's finish this part. Okay, uh, leave it like that. Perfect. So the last one it says is winter in Russia. Okay, it's snowing, it's very cold. Okay, winter, lo que nosotros no tenemos, right? Winter. So snowing. La nieve. It's now when it's nevando, okay? Nieve no tenemos, it's very cold. No creo que nosotros padezcamos de mucho frío. Bueno, yo sí, yo soy frienta, pero, pero here in El Salvador viene alguien de otro lugar, entonces they, they don't see that it's like cold here in El Salvador. All the time right here in El Salvador, it's really, really, really hot. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to share the screen one more time. Thank you so much for your help, okay? Qué bueno que tenía ahí el acceso rapidito para poder este, compartir la pantalla. So, eso es lo que tenía yo acá. Thank you, okay? Appreciate it. So, let's see. We have a conversation right here to practice, okay? And let's do it uh, first. I will read it at first. Try to pay attention to the pronunciation and then we will practice just one or two times. It says, it's very cold. That's the name of the conversation, it's very cold. Oh no, this is a conversation between two people, right, Pat and Julie. And Pat says, oh no. And Julie says, what's the matter? It's snowing it, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing, you are wearing we, I'm sorry. Well, you, you are wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thames, Yuli. Okay, so that's the pronunciation and the conversation about. I don't know if we have any new work or something that you don't know. Alguna palabra, algo que usted diga, mm, I don't know what it is. Matter. Matter. What's the matter? Okay, matter. Esa es una expresión informal. Okay, so es como que yo le diga, um, how are you? Okay, es formal. ¿Cómo está usted? Right, how are you? Si yo le digo, what's the matter? ¿Qué, qué pasa? ¿Qué onda? Dice usted, ¿qué pasa? Ok, so what's the matter? Como, ¿cuál es el problema? ¿Qué pasa? Ok, and then la lady le dice, it's a star wing. Ok, and it's very cool. Ok, that's the problem. That's what it happened because they don't have, or at least she doesn't have the correct clothes for that weather. Ok, se va a congelar. Nice. Any other work? I think. I'm sorry. Gracias. Ah, okay, no problem. So, do we have any other work? Uh, wearing or wearing? Okay, wearing. Wear. Okay. Wearing. Ayer uh, parece que vimos esto de wear. Okay, en el, cuando vimos el vestuario, wear. Mm -hmm. Okay, usar, vestir. Cuando yo estoy usando Una camisa dice, I'm wearing a blouse, ok, yo estoy usando una camisa, ok, so in this case, wearing means usar, ok, aquí parece que lo vimos en, en la parte del closed, ok, yes, right here, ok, usted dice, yo ahorita estoy usando unos shorts, I'm wearing shorts, me va a decir usted que está usando, ok, so that's wearing. So in this case, le dice, estás usando tus guantes. No, le dice, están en la casa. So no, they are at home. Oh, eh, you are wearing your coat, pero estás usando tu abrigo, le dice. Yes, but 
my coat it's not warm, pero mi, mi abrigo no es caliente, o sea, es un abrigo pequeñito y no ha de ser muy doble, right? And it says, and I'm not wearing my boots, okay? No estoy usando las, mis botas, okay? So let's, let's practice, okay? Just one and two or two because of the time. Let's see, Sandra Patricia, you will be Pat. And let's see, let's see who, a quien no le hemos preguntado ahora. Jancy Astrid, you will be Julie, okay? So start, please. Okay. Okay. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat? But my coat is not warm and, and I'm not wearing books. Give me a chance. Eh, Hacía falta ahí una parte de la, de la sentence. Uh, and I'm not but wearing my... boots. Continue, Jansi, no problem. Okay, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's mm -hmm. take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, perfect, nice, okay? So remember that when we have a question, so you need to sound like a question. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's a star wind and it's very cold. This is a question. Are you wearing your, glo your clothes? Los guantes, right? Your clothes? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat, okay? Coat, abrigo, coat. Uh, but my coat isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Botas, right? Boots. I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi, okay? Thanks, Yuli. Nice. Let's move on, okay? The lesson uh, 4.9, lesson objective says right here, that at the end of this class, you will be able to form a statements using present continuous. Con este tema, terminamos la unidad cuatro. So tomorrow we will complete the, the last part of those, uh, this lesson. And tomorrow we are going to start the last one, the lesson number five. So that means that esperaría que para lunes o martes, usted tenga la plataforma al 100, okay? En todas las actividades. So, porque ya estamos en la última. So, we will see right now something new, okay? Present continuous, okay? Este es un nuevo tiempo gramatical que vamos a aprender, okay? Yo se lo voy a explicar de una manera fácil para que lo se nos haga más fácil. En this tense, the present continuous is not easy, okay? Ya vimos el verbo to be, okay? Ya sabemos cómo decir eh, oraciones en presente. Hemos estado viendo diferente vocabulario, yes, no questions, WH questions. So right now we will see the present continuous, okay? Present continuous, así se llama este tiempo gramatical. And what is the present continuous? The present continuous is a, a verb form of an a sentence that tell us about the ongoing actions, events, or something that has happening around you. So present continuous is something that we are going to use for activities or actions that are happening at the moment that we are talking, okay? For example, I can say, we are having our English class. Aquí estamos, okay? Nosotros estamos teniendo nuestra clase de inglés. Ahorita estamos aquí, okay? So we are learning English, okay? Estamos aprendiendo nosotros inglés. Entonces es algo que está pasando al momento que yo estoy hablando, okay? That would be the present continuous. The simple present que hemos medio visto de una manera eh, general 
es para actividades que yo hago todos los días o eh, normalmente lo que yo hago todos los días, me levanto, me cambio, como, trabajo, so everyday activities. But the present continuous, that will be attempts that we are going to use when we are doing something and talking at the same time. O algo que está pasando en el momento que usted lo está mencionando o un evento, una eventualidad que tiene cierta duración de tiempo, pero está ahí. Ok, por ejemplo, nosotros podemos decir we are learning English in this course. Ok, el curso no ha terminado. Estamos todavía en él. Entonces, so we are learning. So uh, I have right here. Oh, my God, it's just four minutes for the time. So mañana vamos a continuar en esto. Ok, yo les explico bien because the same story. We have positive sentence. We have negative sentence. And we have questions, ok? Y aquí está la fórmula como yo voy a armar mis oraciones, ya sea en positivo o en negativo, o pregunta usando el presente continuo. En el presente continuo viene el famoso ING, el famoso ING, para los que ya lo han oído en algún momento. Los verbos que terminan en ING. Esos son los mismos verbos que yo le agrego la ING, pero hay una regla que se la voy a mostrar mañana para poder poner el ING. No es que solo le voy a poner el ING como yo quiera. There, there is a rule, ok? We have some rules. But the present continuous, as I told you, is the time in which we have the ING form. Aquí está ya le, eh, la explicación del ING. So we will see it at tomorrow. Okay, so for tomorrow we have uh, more explanations right here. Aquí ya tengo algunas actividades que vamos a poder realizar. So uh, we are going to stop right now because of the time. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the present continuous. Okay, solo lo hemos visto ahora sí de manera general que el present continuous es tiempo gramatical que yo lo voy a utilizar al momento que yo estoy hablando, está pasando esa acción. Ok, si usted está tomando sopa, por ejemplo, comiendo, usted me va a decir, teacher, I'm eating my dinner right now. Ah, está comiendo. Oh, I'm talking on the phone. Ah, está hablando por teléfono. I'm listening to music. Está en el momento escuchando música. So that's something that we will use in ING, ok, cuando usted me quiera decir, mire, fíjese que yo ahorita estoy revisando la plataforma, ok, I'm checking the platform, ok, so en el momento que usted está hablando, ahí va usted a usar el presente continuo con el ING, ok, mañana seguimos viendo esto del ING, no se preocupe, le voy a dar unas reglas para que se le haga más fácil y ya usted lo empiece a utilizar, ok, So I have two minutes, okay? So just let me open the list one more time for the attendance. I have it here. And let me know if you are here, please. Aisa Damaris. I here. Thank you. Anna Janet. Listen. Thank you. Uh, Edith Janet. Listen. Thank you, Edith. I'm Manuel Francisco. Present, present. Thank you. Stephanie Priscilla. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Gabriela Elisa. Present. Thank you, Gabby. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bismar. Present. Thank you. Uh, Josué Israel. No. Josué Neftalí. Josué Neftalí. No, no ingresó ahora Josué Neftalí. Carla Alejandrina. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Alejandrina. Uh, Luz María. Present. Thank you, Luz. Maylin Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Maylin. Uh, Nancy Judith. Present. Thank you. Josué, I'm sorry. Uh, Nancy, Nancy Milagro. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Rolando Alberto. Present. Thank you. Rosalina. Present. Thank you. Ka Ruth Karina. Present. Ruth Milagro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. No le funciona el audio, Miss. Ah, ok. So, but I have the attendance for Sandra Patricia. Don't worry. Sandy Judisa. No. Surma Janira. Present. Thank you, Surma. Susana Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Uh, Tania Ibon. Present. Thank you, Valeria Esther. Present. Thank you, Verónica Milagro. Present. Thank you, Victor Adonai. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy Arely. Present. Thank you, Jancy Carolina. No, Jancy Astrid. Yes, I'm here, Miss. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your answers. Okay, so thank you one more time for being in the class. It's almost uh, time to go home, to go home, to go bed. <laughs> ya estamos en la casa. Espero que estén en su casa. Okay, so uh, yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. Y vaya, digamos que si yo solo logré el 93, 94, este, así puedo dejar o tengo que llegar hasta el 100%. No, it's okay, it's okay. Acuérdese que para pasar usted tiene que estar en 80 o más. Si usted está en 79, no pasa. Tiene que estar en 80. Ahora, si algún ejercicio usted se equivocó en alguno y lo dejó en 94, por decir algo otro, lo dejó en 97, el, al final se va a hacer un promedio, right, de todas las unidades. Y el score final le tiene que dar 80 o más, si usted queda en 87, 99, so it's okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, Surma, no problem. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Okay, have a nice uh, rest of the night. Okay, and please study. Okay, try to study, try to work in the platform, and uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Good night, teacher. Bye, Good night. Bye, bye, bye. 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 B